I never go looking for good video game consoles, cause good video game consoles, they just seem to find me. And what really sucks about finding these systems is that, in my head, I assume I'm gonna find something that's just so bad, something that other people haven't found before, but that never happens. So after that last system, I didn't think it could get any worse. But while driving through Virginia, I went to a video game store, and at that store, they had this. This system has 9,000 games. Space, space, but none of the levels in this game take place in space. Let's take a look at Vanguard, a complete and total knockoff of Racing Fighter, but this is something a little bit special. It's Jackal with a tank, which I guess you can do. Animal Crossing Amiibo. It's Mario Party, but with Animal Crossing. So there, that's all this is. It's not fun to play! Magic Johnny! Now, this game actually has a story. Because nutrition sucked. <laughs> Police dog Lassie. It's supposed to be Lassie, but they threw in a G there for some reason. Some burglar or criminal type guy. It's never ogre! Hey, you know all those things I just stole? I'm gonna throw them into somebody's lawn, and guess what? I'm gonna throw bombs in the lawn as well. Your burglar has been leaving little bombs all over my yard and I don't appreciate it. Rabbit Village. You, as a rabbit on the top of the hill with some kind of pulley system and chair thing, have to save a bunch of rabbits before they burn to death. Honestly, after a couple minutes of playing this game, you're just gonna let those rabbits burn. Let's just say you want to save the rabbits. Well, you just let those rabbits burn. Sea World. You ever want to play a game where you basically just sit there and do nothing for a really long time? Well, good. This game is for you. Spring. An entire game where you just avoid things. So, there. That's all this is. Star. I've got no idea what's happening in this game. Wild. Buddy. Now in this game, you're just a small worm eating things. Oh boy, I think I can win this one! Ew. Ouch. Why too much to the pizza? Dude, you gonna be alright? You SHUT UP! <sighs> Let's talk about this console. It's small. Apple Chess! <laughs> Hit Mouse! I can't even. I don't even. Look at the screen! Goblet Tower is just Goblet Tower. This is called Music Moment. And what you're supposed to do in Music Moment is Step on the gas. Step on the gas. Step on the gas. Now stop. Hammer time. This is called UFO Race. All my life leading up to this moment has been worth it. Every last second, I am truly blessed. Beep, beep, beep! Oh, sorry! What's that? Oh, that's just a you can't make this shit up alarm! Get out of my brain! Slot machines! Slot machines! I hate that! Slot machines! Slot machines! Slot machines! And don't even come to me thinking, hey, it's a kid's game. You're an ignorant piece of shit. Okay, now before we start this game, I want you to listen to the original theme music for tennis on the NES. Here we go. Okay, now here's the theme music for tennis off of the retro play. <laughs> that sounds like a drunk cover band's version of the original song. Bur which, <laughs> I guess. Why, sure, let's call this game Bur. <laughs> Explore. Do a man stuck in the middle of a desert with a rocket launcher start shooting at oncoming enemies forever and ever and ever. Let the bodies hit the. Ah! 
I can't believe they sold this shit that's for $199. That's about how much it costs for a video game console, pretty much. You can take $199, stand on a bridge, and just throw it all away. You'd rather do anything than spend it on a broken down dysfunctional disaster of video game programming. With games like Crash, hideous jumping control, random characters, microscopic sprites, a marathon of mediocre space shooters, dying in midair, problem with proportion, misleading titles, misleading powers, embarrassing weapons, seizure inducing backgrounds, lack of enemies, games you can't win, games you can't lose, games that make no sense whatsoever, shitty graphics, shitty music, shitty menus, and a fuck ton of other things. Now, this game actually has a story, and I'm gonna read it to you exactly how it's written. Once upon a time, Johnny was born. <laughs> what a story. <laughs> he died shortly after. <laughs>